Hi, this is just a short video to show you how I morphed a circle into a square. I tried doing that using interpolate and got some strange results, but I'll show you how we got uh, around that. Okay, let's start with a circle. Control Shift to draw from the inside out. I give it a fill and say yellow. Okay, a square. Let's uh, again Control Shift and make that uh, say green and there are two shapes now first of all you must turn these into paths so I'll select them both okay, path object to path okay now if I while they're selected if I go to extensions I'll show you what I first did generate from path interpolate and let's say four steps and style means we'll gradually change the color as well and border characteristics anything like that now if I do live preview and just wait for a bit you can see that's quite a strange result you wouldn't think going from a circle to a square you'd uh, push inwards you think you'd uh, sort of go straight to this and then just get square and square this is seems to be going backwards even with the other method change it to method one that's quite bizarre so I'm just going to close out of that and show you how I got around that to get a little bit more predictable possibly need a results. If I hit N for the node tool you can see these are all nodes. What I'm going to do is select one and I'll shift click another and I'm going to break the shapes at that node. So I'll select that icon there. What I've done is I've broken the shapes. Now it doesn't have any effect uh, visually but there's actually a break. It's actually a path starting and stopping but not connecting. Now that's, that break seems to somehow tell Inkscape to start from the same node or whatever and uh, go through the extension a little bit more logically. I'll show you. Extensions, generate from path, interpolate. Now if I do, I'll drag this down a bit. A live preview. You can see that's a lot more predictable. The shape is uh, just gradually squaring up. A little bit odd at this corner perhaps, but um, I think an improvement on the previous uh, interpolation. So there you go, that's uh, one little workaround, breaking each path at a point and then applying the interpolate extension. As always, thanks for watching.